Hello friends, imagine selecting a country in Excel and instantly seeing only the relevant states appear. Then, pick a state. And just like that, you're shown just the cities within that state. No clutter, no confusion, just smart, dynamic dropdowns that respond to your choices. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create multiple dependent dropdown lists in Excel, step by step. Let's dive in and make your spreadsheet smarter. Let's start with a clean, structured dataset. In column A, we've listed the main categories. Our countries, USA and Canada. Next, each country has its own list of states or provinces, organized neatly under separate headers. And finally, we've broken it down one step further, listing the cities under each corresponding state. Now the magic begins. Let's name our ranges the smart way. Instead of manually naming each list, we'll use one of Excel's most powerful time savers, Create from Selection. First, hold down Control and select your entire dataset. Make sure you include the headers at the top. Then, head over to the Formulas tab and click Create from Selection. In the pop-up window, choose Top Row. This tells Excel to name each column based on the header in the first row. Click OK and boom! Excel instantly generates all the named ranges for you. Need to double check? Head to the Formulas tab and open Name Manager. Here, you can view, edit, or delete any named ranges Excel created. Important tip here, Excel does not allow spaces in named ranges. So instead of writing British Columbia, you'll need to name it British underscore Columbia. Why does this matter? Because Excel is very specific. When you use the indirect function, it looks for an exact match. The text you select must match a named range, letter for letter. Even a small typo or extra space can break the whole setup. To keep things smooth, always use consistent, underscore separated names when defining ranges. And make sure your drop-down values are an exact match, including spelling, capitalization, and those underscores. Now, let's build our very first dynamic dropdown. Head over to the dropdown sheet and click on cell A2. This is where our country selector will live. Navigate to the Data tab on the ribbon. Then click on Data Validation. In the Settings tab, set the Allow field to List. Now here's a pro tip. Instead of manually typing your source, just press F3. This opens up the list of named ranges we created earlier. Select the country range from the list. Click OK, and boom, your country dropdown is ready. Smooth, clean, and fully dynamic. Next, we'll create a dependent dropdown for states. Click on cell B2. Go to the data validation. Choose list. In the source box, type equal sign indirect. Select the A2 cell and close the formula. Finally, click OK. This tells Excel to look for a range named after whatever country is selected in A2. Test it by selecting USA in A2. Shows California, Texas, and New York in B2. Finally, let's add a third dependent dropdown for cities. Click on cell C2. Go to the data validation. Choose list. In the source box, Type equals indirect. Select the B2 cell. And click OK. Now, if you choose Canada, then Quebec. Your cities will be Montreal, Quebec City, Laval. Now, simply drag the fill handle down to instantly apply the dependent dropdown to multiple rows. If a dropdown shows blank, double check that your named ranges match exactly. No extra spaces. And remember, names can't start with numbers or have spaces. Want this to work across a bigger form? Simply apply the same logic to multiple rows using Excel tables or VBA for dynamic rows. And there you have it, a clean, 
dynamic multi-level drop-down list built from scratch in Excel. If this saved you time or sparked new ideas, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more smart and time-saving Excel tricks, and drop a comment below. What country or industry are you creating this for? Let's inspire each other with real-world examples. Thanks for watching.